Hey friends, welcome to my studio. I'm Wendell Myers and uh, I am going to be mounting these three little paintings on paper that I finished just the other day. You may have seen uh, the video. Uh, but I'm going to show you how I do this. Now I do want to stress that this was not my idea. I did not come up with this. I got this idea from Bob Burridge. So in any project like this, the most important thing, or one of the most important things, is to make sure that you have everything that you need at your fingertips. So it pays to take some time to think through the steps uh, that you're going to do and to think about what you need and to make sure you have everything right there so you don't have to go hunting for it in the middle. This is a process that you don't really want to interrupt once you get started. Um, so you don't want to have to go running around looking for paper towels or water or weight. Uh, so what I have is I have the thing being mounted. That's these paintings. I have the thing that they are being mounted to, these cradled panels. I have the glue. And I'm going to start with this Liquitex gloss medium. Uh, acrylic medium is a really good glue. And this is almost gone, so I also have uh, a brand new bucket from Jerry's Artorama of uh, gloss medium. I need something to apply it with, and I've got a couple of uh, spatulas. Um, I need a piece of plastic to put on each painting. Um, then I need a board, nice rigid board, uh, to put on top of the plastic. And this is um, to put weight on. Um, and for weight, I use <laughs> coffee table books and buckets of water. You could use bricks, um, things, you know, anything like that. So, um, now normally, in the interest of efficiency, you would do each step on all three of these uh, to save time, but I don't think I'm going to do that um, just so I don't get. This is sometimes um, stressful uh, because the medium dries fast, like all acrylic stuff does, and um, it it's kind of a risky procedure because if there's anything on the plastic, it will stick to the painting not to the plastic. Um, and I've ruined a few paintings by having some god-awful crap stick to them. Um, so I'm just going to do one at a time. Uh, the other really important thing besides having everything that you need right at your fingertips is be prepared for disaster. Because if you are prepared for disaster and ready to deal with it, then when it does happen, and it will, um, it's not such a disaster. And the, for, for this, the way to deal with it is to have water and paper towels available. Now, after I uh, put the painting on there, I will use this brayer or this wedge, this catalyst wedge, or this squeegee to smooth down, compress the painting and get all the bubbles out. I don't care about making a mess. I'm going to make a mess. Um, in my opinion, you can't use too much glue. You can use too little. Any excess is going to squeeze out around the sides and you can wipe it off with your fingers and or a wet paper towel. Okay, so here we go. I'm, uh, I guess I'm procrastinating because it's a high risk procedure. Okay, so here's gel medium. Put plenty on the panel. Spread it out nice and smooth. You want to get it all the way to the edge because the edge is the, if anything doesn't stick, it's going to be the edge. So get it all the way out to the edge. Now people will say, don't, don't take it right to the edge. Well, that I think 
I have got a problem with that because like I said, if anything doesn't stick, it's going to be the edge. And then get it on the back of the painting, cover the entire back all the way to the edge. Like I said, I'm not worried about making a mess um, because I'm prepared for disaster and because I want these to stick. I'd much rather put too much glue on, have it squeezing out around the edges and have it all stuck down rather than not putting enough on, which I have done before. And then you got to go back and try to get the edges to stick down, try to get the corners to stick down, whatever isn't stuck. Okay. Then uh, take this, put it down. I've got, you know, quarter of an inch all the way around because the panel is just half an inch bigger than the painting. And one thing that you'll find is that once you really get this stuck down, there is a lot of suction and it really it becomes impossible or almost impossible to move. Okay, so that I'm going to wipe off a little bit of this excess with some paper towel. Wet paper towel. I did succeed in getting more than enough glue on here, which is, I'd rather have more than enough than not enough. And it looks like I really did a good job of getting more than enough. Really a good job. Okay, so. That is really, <laughs> like I said, I'm making a mess. I want more wet paper towel here. I want to wipe this down. I don't want a whole lot on the surface. If it's on the surface, it's not going to hurt anything. It dries clear, um, but I want it to be smooth. So if it's on the surface, that's okay as long as it is nice and smooth. Okay, so then the plastic and before you start, you want to make sure there isn't a bunch of junk on the plastic because it won't stick to the plastic. It will stick to the painting. Let's see, just move it just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Nice rigid board. And then, like I said, I use coffee table books. This is a, an Atlas of Human Anatomy. National Parks, Van Gogh, and then I like to put a piece of plastic on the books to protect them, and then a bucket of water. Okay, so that's that one, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do the other two, and I'm just not going to talk while I do those. Okay, now I do have kind of a mess to clean up and I will do that. Um, I will uncover these tomorrow. Um, everybody says 24 hours. I don't think anybody means literally 24 hours. Um, anytime tomorrow will be fine. It's uh, 4.25 in the afternoon right now. Um, I may end up uh, uncovering them after work tomorrow 
I am working tomorrow from home. Uh, but anytime tomorrow, and I'll show a, a little bit of um, what they look like when they're all done. Okay. Thanks for watching. Um, this is always hectic for me somehow, always stressful. Uh, I have ruined a few paintings while doing this, so I suppose that's part of the uh, hectic feeling and stressful feeling, but uh, usually it turns out absolutely fine. So we'll see. So now it is not the next day, it's two days later. I didn't get a chance to do this yesterday. I, I worked yesterday and uh, just kind of ran out of time. Um, so it's been two days or a day and a half um, and it's time for the big reveal. This kind of reminds me of um, kiln openings back when I was a potter, uh, which uh, I was a potter until 1983. September or October. So this fall it'll be 39 years uh, since I decided I needed to go back to school and learn how to do something I could get paid for. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so now the boards are coming off. This is, by the way, a uh, half inch thick MDF, medium density fiber board, which is a really nice surface to paint on. They're really nice panels to paint on. Plastic coming off. Okay. So normally at this point, I would be varnishing these, but they, uh, I haven't photographed them yet, so I need to photograph them first. Uh, they always require a little bit of cleanup, um, edges, around the edges, uh, etc. But he, this is the idea. And uh, as I've said, they, they will sit on a shelf or table. Uh, they're very stable because they're two inches. Uh, and obviously, I will wire the back and they can be hung on the wall. Okay. Well, that's how you do it. Um, again, not my idea. I got it from Bob Burridge, don't know where he got it, but I really like it. Um, and the galleries that I work with um, like it as well, so that's good. They like it because of the option of not having to hang it on the wall, set it on the shelf or on the table. Well, thanks a lot, friends. Uh, take care, have a good day, and uh, I'll see you next time.